Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more Let's Play Etrian Odyssey Untold. We've got a lot of questing to do this episode, and I'm going to get a lot of it done off screen because a whole lot of it is just going to be farming for items. First things first, I have mono... uh, what the heck is it called again? Monotropastrums that I need for the quest with, uh, with Austin. So we'll turn that in. Tis you. Oh. A gift for thee. Why, thank you. I appreciate that, Kupala. Oh, new species. Oh wow, one of those was even something we hadn't gotten before. Requests, hmm? Thou hast done much on my behalf. We haven't gotten all the ambrosia we need yet, though I did get a couple, so we should be close. Marvelous. Alright, take them and off you go. Amrita 2s are a pretty good prize as well. Nice. Raccoon also gained a level while I was off screening, so we might as well <coughs> level these two up. Oops, wrong menu item. I kind of feel like a level in safe passage wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, given that we know that there's all those uh, hazard tiles. But on the other hand, I could just buy items for that and not have to waste the skill point. Maybe just more Aegis. Alright, that takes care of that. Next up is going to be this quest for the Gourmand King, which is a bunch more farming. So, all of the items he needs, the wolf fang, bird limb, fossil nest, red string, and cursed tusk, are dropped by foes. The wolf fang will be from forest wolves, the bird limb will be from giant moas, fossil nest is a conditional drop by petrifying servitor ants, red strings are from cruellas, and cursed tusks are from arboreal hulks. So, I'm going to be trying to farm those from all the relevant foes. I guess I'll show one fight for each foe, even though we've fought them before. It's been a very long time for most of them. Uh, but if it takes multiple tries to get the drop from each one, I'll only show one fight from each. Alright, first up is our old friend the Forest Wolf. What are you talking about, Rakuna? This should pretty much be a joke fight at this point. I mean, I guess I'll have you throw down Defender, just for the sake of form. It is weak to fire, so... Actually, let's just be really mean and also hit it with Ricochet. This one's from me. Not dodge. Okay. <laughs> Arthur one-shotted it. And it dropped the Wolf Fang immediately. That's one of five ingredients acquired. <laughs> Arthur one-shotted it. Next up, it's our old friend, the giant Moa. Just for fun, we'll attack it from behind. Got your butt. Get ready. Yeah, I screwed up. All right, no particular weaknesses, but uh, I'll go ahead and use spear assist. Everybody, just whack it. How many of my attacks can you withstand? Well, it did better than the Forest Wolf. And it dropped the bird limb we needed immediately, so... So far this is going very well. Next up, a reunion with our old friend the Servitor Ant. It's been a long time. Never mind, this is a Blood Ant. I think this is the wrong kind. Okay, take two. Maybe this was the servitor ant. Got your butt. Let's be ready for anything. Go get them. Sure enough. Okay, we got preemptive attack. So this thing is probably going to die really quick. We have to keep that in mind. I'll just have these two each whack it once, and then we need to petrify it. Actually, since we need to petrify it. Uh, yeah, you use White Plasma. In fact, uh, did you have a petrification ability? Or I think that was on Ricky? I think that might have been on Ricky. 
You just defend. Don't think you have a petrification ability. No. You just defend. Oh, maybe it was... Maybe it's really just uh, Dirge that has it. Yeah, she can panic. Okay, I guess it's just Dirge then. Sleep Poison Paralysis. Okay, fair enough. Go ahead and whack it for a little extra damage. You missed. You missed, Dirge. What are you doing? You're going down. Oh my gosh, how do you keep missing? Ah, <sighs> okay, fine. Fine, you know what, we'll do then. Weak to ice. There's a way around this. Spear assist, whack it. You use a formaldehyde. Didn't bring any formaldehydes. Oh, that was an oversight. I should have. Fine, we'll just keep on doing this until it works. What are you playing at? This is real exciting. Uh, maybe boosted it'll work better. Oh my gosh, I'll give it two more flippin' tries. And then my patience is done, and I'm just gonna come back with a formaldehyde. Oh, he finally hit it! Why is the hit rate on that so low? He didn't petrify it, though. Screw it, we're gonna come back with a formaldehyde. I'm tired of this. This one's from me. Won't miss. And don't come back. Okay. Oh, and just as a quick note, a little side note, uh, the wyvern does appear to still be gone here on the eighth floor. Uh, I think it might respawn after a while? I sure hope so. I hope I didn't screw myself out of being able to do that Wyvern's Call quest. Okay, take three. Stand back. It's here. All right, so I don't think this is really going to be necessary, but we'll just have everybody hit it real hard. Simon, you used the formaldehyde. And it really should not last a turn, I don't imagine. Alright. And there's the fossil nest we needed. Mission accomplished. Ooh, that's a new one. We never got one of those before. And next up is the ever-popular Cruella. Get wrecked. This isn't looking good. Okay, so I'm don't not sure how tough these are compared to our party now. Probably not very. No particular weaknesses. I imagine it's gonna fall very quickly, though we are down to the fourth stratum now, so it might last a little longer. We'll see if it can last a whole turn. I don't think this one's drop is conditional. No, it's definitely not. Hey, it lasted the whole turn. Well done to you. Now it's clearly going to die. No red string for us. Alright, well, I'll, uh, I'll just fight more of them until one drops a red string. We won't need to watch every fight or anything. And second time's lucky. Very next one I killed, dropped a red string. And I believe the last one on our shopping list is the Arboreal Hulk. Got your butt. Get ready. It's here. 
All right, now this one might actually be tough enough to warrant some real attacks. We'll see. No particular vulnerabilities. Let's boost it. Look at that, this Arboreal Hulk. I'm taking you seriously like you're a real enemy. We'll see whether that's warranted. Hey, yeah, it's still got quite a few HP left. Look at you go. Well done to you. For fun, try to put poison on it. Can even still do respectable damage. Alright, I'll bet that if I hit it with a boosted cross charge now, we'll take it out before anyone else even needs to do anything. And if I'm wrong, Ricochet will finish it. Alright. Back to work. Hey. <laughs> and we got Cursed Tusk on the first try. Well done to us. That wasn't so bad. As long as you can just check the relevant items in the compendium to know what drops what, then Let's head back. you're so much stronger than all the relevant foes at this point that it's just busy work going around and uh, killing them and getting the items, and none of the drops seem rare. The only one that can be difficult at all is that fossil nest, but a formaldehyde makes it easy. I did it. Hey, thanks. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Hey, that's some good news. Decent experience. Simon and Ricky, eh? Simon and Ricky sounds like some kind of old timey sitcom. Yeah, go ahead and just keep increasing your attack, Simon. And right, I was going to start increasing Ricky's elemental rounds. Okay, well done to us. Were there any other quests to take? Sorry, no. And I'm fresh out of requests. Anything else here in the book that we can get right now? So there's my Eternal Nemesis Hidden Treasure. We need more tricolors for this. That is the optional super boss fight I'm going to do after I've gained some more levels, I think. And yeah, the wyvern appears to be dead, so I don't know what to do about this one. Hmm. Okay, so I think the wyvern will respawn eventually, and in the meantime, I've decided to do some more exploration in the Claret Hollows. In particular, I think we want to try... Finishing exploration of the 28th floor. Alright, so... Okay, I was hoping to do this. We have fallen into a special little room with a bunch of gather points. Nice. Let's see here. Get me Ambrosia. No Ambrosia, and we got ambushed. That's no good. Oh, no. oh well, could be worse. At least it's just these guys. Hit them with lightning, I guess. Yeah.
You'll be fine. Nice Alright, one down. Oh, I don't need Spark Volt will do. Now a mine point. Oh, that should complete the tricolor quest. Hey, what about this? Are you kidding me? Another ambush? An ambush? That's so lame and annoying. Now these guys sometimes blow up on turn two. If they both blow up, then there's nothing we can do because Raccoon can only block one of them. That would be very irritating. I. Uh, we feel that was very unfair since I got ambushed and couldn't even take a turn. But we'll see. Okay, good. They're not just blowing up on me. I appreciate that. A low effort win. I like it. Okay, excellent. That's another quest done, at least. And alright, there is a way out of here. Which takes us out to this horrific area. And now is where it gets dangerous, because we have to navigate across this horrific floor with those nasty abyss flyers, or whatever they're called, zipping around trying to kill us. Alright, I think this will be a good time to use... Wow, I have a lot of stuff I'm carrying around. Didn't realize I was carrying around this much crap. Oh, I never looked at what the Dagger of Mercy does. Oh wow, instant kill. Dang, that's pretty sweet. Anyway, time to use a Guard Soul. So this floor was doing 50 damage. How much does it do now? Oh wow, only five? Okay, that's huge improvement. Here it comes. Okay, but you can dodge them because they move three spaces at a time. And they can never move less than that, so that's something that's good to know. Okay. All right, looks like we'll be able to get back up from here. He's gumming. I was gonna say coming and gunning, and then it <laughs> came out as a combination of the two. He is gunning for me. Alright, now there should be another of those secret rooms that we can fall into on the 28th floor. Okay, if I've calculated out the coordinates right, I think this one will take me into another secret room. Whoa, what the heck are you? Uh, um, hi. Uh, I think I just found one of the Elemental Dragon optional super bosses. That wasn't intentional. Uh, I knew there would be a secret room. I did not know that, uh, that this big able fellow would be in here. Huh. Uh, okay, I don't think we're ready for this. I mean, we do have a retry, so we could fight him just for fun, but I'm pretty sure that we'll we'll get our butts handed to us. Wow, I, I legit didn't know that this guy was just hanging out here. I thought he'd be a quest or something. Okay, well, let's fight him then, I guess. Hey, buddy. It's here. I'll be the team's shield. Hang in there. Clone. 
Oh, I don't think this is the optional super boss. I think this is a weaker version of it. Maybe we can defeat it then. So I think that we're going to want to ice wall against this guy, considering he's called Blizzard Clone. Yeah, I legit did not know that this guy was hanging out in here. Uh, let's see. All right, well, usual tough boss battle procedure then. Should be fire vulnerable, you would think. Maybe Volt, though. It could be either. Uh, let's see. And yeah, Forest Breach. Well, no way to know, because the fire missed. Alright, so he tried to get a first turn kill on us, but we were ready for him. Okay, uh, so let's see. Let's, uh, let's do a bloody offense on the back line. You can put up Defender. I don't think he's going to use his Ice Breath twice in a row. Uh, you, you could try to poison him. I don't think it's likely to work, but go ahead and try. Let's see if... Uh... You know what? Let's try Volt. I should probably try to bind his various body parts. Okay, that could have been worse. Oh wow, the poison actually worked. Oh, and then we've do we're doing quite a bit of damage. Okay, yeah. So clearly the clone is a weaker version of the optional super boss that we're going to fight later. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, should I use Spear Assist? Yeah, why not? Might as well whack him. Go ahead and Salvus. Full seemed reasonably effective. I'm trying to snipe his head. Have some healing. Try what? Um, try head pierce. We'll have multiple people trying to seal his head. Uh, the extra damage you do isn't huge, Rakuna, so maybe front guard would be more advisable. You should probably renew the frailty curse. You can renew the force breach. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to fight this guy when he's a full strength. Let's keep those debuffs on him. All right, this should hurt. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and just guard us some more. Go ahead and sell. Oh. Oh, God, okay. I was hoping there'd be some warning. There was not warning. Yikes. Okay, we have a big problem now. I still don't think he'll do it twice in a row. I hope not. But, uh, yeah, that was bad. Didn't think he'd do that twice. Or, I mean, uh, sorry, I thought that... I thought there'd be warning before he did that again. Because there was when we fought the... Storm Emperor, he always used a debuff on us first. That did not happen this time against this guy, so I guess he's a little more random. Makes it all the more important to try to snipe his head. Okay, we need to renew Defender. Go ahead and do a boosted Defender, so oops. So it lasts. We need more salve from you. This one's mine. Go ahead and hit him with a boosted volt formula. Okay, still alive. You'll be fine. Alright, now go ahead and do the ice wall. Because I don't know when, when he'll 
Unleash it. I'm paranoid now. Okay, Forest Breach wore off. That's no bueno. Tell you what, you keep salving. And Ricky, you put the Forest Breach back on him. We need his offense to be reduced. What? Work out sealed on Dirge. His head. I don't think that really matters. Go ahead and hit him with a slightly premature cross charge. I think it might kill him. Okay, I'll put a frailty curse on him. Ricky, keep on trying to bind his head. You'll succeed one of these days. Or not. Not as powerful as I had hoped. And that was a miss. Okay. Now again, I don't think he'll do that two turns in a row, so... I think that we should be okay this turn, but why risk it? Why risk it? There's no reason to risk that. Alright, screw it. Your head ceiling just isn't working, just do damage. It was a team effort, Arthur. Calm down. <laughs> Another one for the book. Well, that was all kinds of interesting. Legitimately didn't know that's what would be waiting for me down here. I knew there, <laughs> there was a secret room. Didn't know that it was guarded by a clone of one of the endgame elemental dragon super bosses. But that was clearly a far weaker version of the real thing, so... All right, where's the Blizzard clone? There it is. The Blizzard King's clone created to protect the Labyrinth's deepest floor. Well, this isn't actually the deepest floor, though, now is it? Okay, so we didn't get any drops off of him, but he has both a drop and a conditional drop. Too bad we didn't get either of them, not even the common one. That's a shame. He's real cool looking, isn't he? I love that thing's design. Alright, so aside from a pretty cool, unexpected boss fight, what's in here? Ooh, a chest. What could you have been guarding, Mr. Clone of an Elemental Dragon Super Boss? A Dark Grimoire. Now, depending on what's on that Grimoire, that could actually be quite interesting. That could be quite a good find. By the way, how hurt are we? Oh, not very. No need for healing, I don't think. Okay, here's the way out. I could use a quick heal. After stepping on that tile. Well, it only did five damage, but still. Some of my characters have focus, and it doesn't work if they're down any hit points at all. I was drawing this wall. So the rest of this, I think, is just giant open area filled with these super damage tiles. Plus those hellbirds buzzing around. Let's just give vision to each of the walls. Wow, the guard soul item you can buy lasts a really long time. A lot longer than level one of the ability does. Whoa! Oh my god, they're coming at me from every direction. Whew. Get away from me. Oh man, it's one of those insta-kill corpus skulls. Which resists elements, so... You hit the thing in back. 
Okay, and Dirge instantly died. Frustrating. Literally nothing I could do about that. Considering that it got initiative and just chose to kill Dirge. Nothing I could do. Frustrating when the RNG just screws you like that. Because, literally, you can't do anything to stop it. It's irritating. Okay, well, whatever. So those guys just disappear once they fly into the wall. Oh, and uh, the guard's soul wore off and we're taking full damage now. In which case, we should probably use the other one that I brought. Uh, I know I brought another one. Where'd it go? There it is. There. Far less damage. Oh, well, there's another one coming at us. Whew. Saw it zip by us there. Scary. Yeah, we defeated one. I don't know how confident I am we'd win again, though. So I think I don't want to go forward. Right. Okay, and it disappeared, but another has spawned. No, you don't. Okay. The guard soul makes this floor explorable. Without it, we'd have to go through so many of... Su hey there, buddy. We have to go through so many of Simon's TP, it would just be untenable. How about no? Uh, yeah, that's right, just go into the wall, buddy. Okay, now I think if we hug the eastern wall, we'll be relatively safe from these guys, because I don't think they're allowed to spawn right on top of you. Oh, but they can spawn like that. Okay, I think that he'll just zip off in that direction forever now, though. Careful, everyone. We've almost mapped the floor. Because the right. Oh god, it's this enemy group. It's the complete garbage BS enemy group. I hate it. Ugh, this enemy group could make me rage. Um. Just kill it as fast as you possibly can, guys. And our accuracy's down, so now we're just gonna miss like crazy. I hate it. You're going down. How about this? Okay, we got lucky. We got lucky that time. <laughs> we're all at you. That time the RNG didn't decide to screw us. Good. We've almost gotten Spear Assist to the highest level I want to get it to. Which will be 9, because I'm sure the cost of it will become ridiculous at 10. I see him coming for me. Now we have to make our way back to the northwest. What is it? How's that? So we're not out of the woods yet. Another 32 steps worth of the guard soul, which... I don't think it's going to last us the entire way, is it? But it'll last us most of the way, I think. I've not been accurately mapping every single step that has a uh, 
That's a hazard tile. There's just so many of them, I've missed a few. And he should, yes, enter the wall. There's one coming at us from behind. Okay, he disappeared. Oh, and then another one came zooming out. Coming for us, coming for us. Missed us. He'll just disappear now. Four steps left. Very well. It's all right. We're almost back. Which is a good thing. Oh, that didn't mark that one correctly. Is this floor completion? No, it won't be because we haven't gotten the one down yet. But the next time we go to those stairs down, it should count as floor completion. For now... I think we can go back to town and turn in another quest. That was so cool. Unexpectedly encountering and fighting that Blizzard King clone. It was a bit of practice for the real thing, but I'm sure the real thing is going to be far stronger than that one. Let's go back. That one will have been a scrub compared to the real deal. How much inventory space have we got? Okay, we've got enough to get whatever the reward is for this quest. I don't know. I don't, she doesn't get a sprite. We've never seen her. We've never talked to her. Well, that'll be a rough, uh, this is going well. a rough lesson for him. But life goes on. Okay. Nice. Nice. So, our remaining quests, the quests that we don't talk about, right, that's that's the one where we're going to fight the real Blizzard King. That's why I was so shocked to see it down there on the, uh, on the 28th floor, but no, that's, we're going to fight the real thing in that quest, I believe, the Azure Colossus, and yeah, hopefully the Wyvern respawns someday. I should probably stay at the end to speed up that process. I'm counting on you. Hello. What you got for me? I think I can sell you all this. Actually, hold up. Hold up. Not the Ambrosia yet. I think I can sell you everything else, but not that. Ahem, not that I just said. Okay. I got some new goods. Go on, take well, look. Simon can't use axes anymore. Oh, a new gun, the Fletchet. How's that compare to the Abaddon? Significantly weaker. Man, we got her a good gun. Thanks for the business. All right, well, I'm going to do one last thing before we call it an episode, and that's going to be taking yet another stab at the quest we don't talk about. Uh, see if any ice mantises have respawned, and if so, if I can get lucky and get an ice egg. To, to speed up that process and also speed up the hopeful eventual respawn of the wyvern. Well. A quick rest, right? We'll actually of stay course. at the inn. The exorbitant prices don't really matter anymore because we get so much money every time we go in the labyrinth. Sign in over here, please. Well, be careful out there. All right, so I'm gonna head in and see if I finally get lucky this time. This is the only one that has respawned. The ones up on the 22nd floor have not. Here it comes. So, Just give the orders and I'm there. it's this guy or nothing.
irritating. For a pretty obsolete foe, you're being rather annoying, sir. Oops, I didn't even mean to use long thrust. Just kill him. Or I guess her, if they're laying eggs. Alright, did you lay an egg? Good. Hey, look what I found. I can't believe it. This came with it. I, I put all those points into Arthur for nothing because he wasn't even the one that found it. <laughs> oh. Finally, so many videos after we got that quest, we finally completed it. Oh my god. What a day. What a day. Nope. Wyvern still hasn't respawned. I can't believe we finally completed that quest. I was starting to think it was bugged or something. Worst quest in the game. Oh, finally. Which one of you losers wanted this thing? Was it you? Can I make anything good out of it? I mean, probably not at this point. It was a fifth stratum item. How goes the job? Finally! Hey, thanks. It, it was tough. <laughs> yeah, it, it was terrible. You have no idea how many times I farmed at those stupid chop points trying to get that egg. 14,000 N. Not worth it. Pitiful amount of experience. Not worth it. We only did that for the completionism. We only did it for the completionism. Was it worth it? I don't know. Philosophical questions. Huh, okay. So now Arthur has a whole bunch of useless points in chop. The game just gave me one last middle finger by having him not even be the one to find it. But I think that means it's finally time to rest Arthur. Uh, so I'm going to do that and then reallocate his skill points off screen because that's slow and boring. So how do we want to do this? Obviously max out formula and fire. Maybe I should just max out all of these this time. And get these all to four. Well, I won't be able to do all of that. I only put five points into it. And yeah, TP up and focus maxed out. So yeah, we're not we're not gonna really do anything that drastically different. Okay, so aside from maxing out ice and volt formula, I actually changed my mind about what to do differently next. Namely, I've decided that I'm going to put some points into some of these other utility skills. So I'm going to give him some points in return right. formula. Okay, why does that still cost the same amount? And it doesn't say anything about the success rate rising either. Oh, okay, now the cost goes down. I know what I'm doing next. We can get flee. Consumes party's hit points to escape from battle to the entrance to the floor, but the escape can fail. So that doesn't sound that great. If I get it to level 5, does the success rate go up? Yes, it does. Then I'll never need Ariadne threads again. It won't matter if I forget them. It'll be great. Okay. Well done to us. With that, I think we can call it an episode. See you around. Oh, and let's not forget to re-equip this stuff on Arthur, because it takes all your equipment off when you rest. For some reason. There we go. It's more like it. And we have to put the Grimoire Stone back on him too. I have reviewed them with care. It's you. It's me. Grimoire Stones. Hmm? For whom is this? 
All right, and sort by skill point total. It should be one of the really high ones. Oh, it's going to show the new ones at the top. We got a new Dark Grimoire, right? Let's check that out. Where are you, Dark Grimoire? Okay, there's the one I had on Arthur. We'll re-equip that. But yeah, we got a new one. It's what the, uh, the Blizzard clone was guarding, so presumably it should be pretty good, right? Chronological order. Shouldn't it be one of these? Is it this one? Yes, it's this one. This Beast Grimoire. Dragon Claw, Triple Strike, and Judgment. Oh, three... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the things he was using against us. Cool beans. It's neat to have that. I'm not going to immediately synthesize it or anything, but it's cool that we have it. Okay, and now... Now we can really call it an episode. What to do next time? Probably explore more of Claret Hollows. And then, I think the episode after that, we'll see if whatever experience we gain from further exploration will be enough to fight the Blizzard King. I'll see you then.